Hello and welcome to Menu Monday. If you're new to the channel, my husband and I travel job to job and we travel around the country in our RV. I do get inspired when I watch other channels doing menus and recipes, but I have to say there are not many out there that cater to RVs or small kitchens. If you know of any channels, please let me know and put them in the comments below. So that's why I want to share my recipes and hope to inspire some other RVers out there or those with small kitchens. I list all my ingredients at the end of each day's video so that you can do a screenshot if it's easier for you on your cell phone or in the comments below I have the ingredients and everything for each recipe that I share. So let's get started. So for today's dinner we're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees. We're going to coarsely chop our onion and the broccoli and cauliflower into florets or one inch chunks and also the sausage into one inch pieces. I'm cooking the onion and the broccoli in one frying pan. The sausage is done separately. Now, if you have fresh cauliflower, you can put it in with the broccoli, but my cauliflower is frozen, so I cooked it in the instant pot um, separate from the onions and broccoli. So whatever you have on hand, um, just go with that. But basically everything needs to be sort of pre-cooked before it goes into your baking dish. I ended up using two of the smoked sausage. They will buy one, get one free, so we love the sausage in anything, and we don't like to skimp on that, so I went ahead and used two, but you can certainly use one for this recipe. That's what the original recipe called. Okay, now while everything's cooking, we're going to mix one cup of sour cream. With two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I chose to use some Slap Your Mama on all of the vegetables and sausage. The original recipe called for thyme, and I am not a fan of thyme, so we did ours a little Cajun style, and then some salt and pepper. So if you want to use thyme instead of the Cajun seasoning, you can do that. If you prefer Cajun seasoning, follow my recipe. I'm going to spray the baking dish or pan with some cooking spray and add all the vegetables first. Now this made a lot so I used the propane oven for this because my this pan doesn't fit in the Emeril Lagasse uh, Air Fryer 360 so we moved to the propane oven today. As you can see it's a gorgeous day. I've got all the windows and door open so it didn't matter that I had the oven on for a little while. I mean, it didn't even, there was no need for air conditioning either. So great day to do this. 
and this is where I mess up. After you put the sausage on, you need to spread the sour cream and mustard mixture. And my daughter was texting me, um, you know, she was in the hospital having the baby. And so I got a little sidetracked and put the cheese on and stuck it all in the oven, forgetting my cream. But then after I got off the off of uh, the video and started reading my text and settled down, I, it dawned on me that I hadn't put the cream on, and it had only been in the oven for about five minutes. So I pulled it out and I spread the cream on top, and then I had to add another layer of cheese. I think the sour cream mixture would have incorporated in the vegetables better if it didn't have that layer of cheese under it sort of blocking it, but it was still very good. I'm sure we'll be having this again. It was a big hit with everybody. Even our grandson enjoyed this, and he's not a fan of vegetables. He mostly picked out the sausage. All right, and there's the final dish. It, like I said, really good, and there are your ingredients. All right, so this recipe calls for two pounds chicken tenderloin. I didn't have tenderloin, so I had breasts, and I figured I'd just cook them in the Instant Pot, which is the fastest thing for me these days so I just wash the chicken and cut them up into strips and put them in the instant pot with a cup of chicken broth which I make myself with the bouillon granules. I'm just going to add some salt and pepper. hands again. I don't know about y'all, but my hands are getting so dry I've got to get some cream on them. All right, and we're going to put this on for 12 minutes. Now I'm going to put some broccoli in the steamer basket. I'll put that in the Instant Pot after the chicken is done. We'll get our chicken out. I did check the temperature to make sure it was cooked all the way through. Always be sure to do that. I'm putting in a cup of water. I did dump out the juice from before. I'm putting in our broccoli and we're going to set that for three minutes. I had to wait and look because I couldn't remember. <laughs> Now, usually I shred the chicken with forks, but I'm going to try the blender for this, I mean the mixer for this one. So I'm going to put in my cabinet seasoning, and I'm going to speed this up, but it did a fantastic job of shredding it. Very fine. If you like it a bit more chunky, then you want to stick with the forks. But I'd seen people do this, and it actually works very well. Now we're going to add our broccoli cheese soup. Put in a little more cavenders and just do the seasoning to taste. Um, this is the riced cauliflower. I did not cook that because it'll cook in the oven. You can cook it ahead if you want to. I was going to put it in with the broccoli, but I had so much broccoli it wouldn't fit. 
Okay, now I'm going to put the broccoli in and incorporate that into the mixture. I'm going to spray your casserole dish with some cooking spray and then put your mixture in your casserole dish. You're going to put this in your oven at 375 degrees for 5 to 8 minutes. I only did 5 because this oven cooks very quickly. And then you take it out and top it with your shredded cheese and put it back in the oven until the cheese is brown to your liking. It was delicious. It was very easy. We'll be doing it again and here are your ingredients. So for our zucchini fries, we're just going to cut them up. This time I left the skins on, just washed them. Cut them in half, half again, and then into strips. Now we're going to have a bag of flour, we're going to have egg, and then a bag of panko breadcrumbs. I chose the Italian style. You can get plain and put seasonings of choice in there. So we dip them first into the flour, then we put them in the egg and then of course into the panko and then onto our fryer tray. I had three zucchini, I used two and I had to each one made a tray of fries. I think getting this prep took longer than it did to actually make them. <laughs> Alright, so there's my first tray. I just sprayed the top. I had already sprayed the tray itself so they wouldn't stick to it. I'll go ahead and put my other tray here. Spray that. I've put this in very fast forward. Obviously it's, you know, a chain of events till you get to the tray. to get these on our second baking sheet. Now it says to cook these until crispy. I did the air fryer function 400 and I honestly don't remember how long they took. I would guess at about 10 minutes. I used some Bubba Burgers and put some of this whiskey flavoring on top of those with a little cheese. So there's our finished fries. Oh they were so so good definitely making these again. In fact, I think I've made them since this video. So I had that one zucchini left. So we just put that with a, a Bubba Burger and that was dinner tonight. Here are your ingredients for your fries. Uh, this evening I just did a leftover and I put it in the crock pot to cook all day so I didn't have anything to film so I'm just going to show you a lunch that I often do. I take a low carb wrap and then I put some salad on top of that. Usually it's a spring mix, sometimes spinach, whichever I have available. And I keep a rotisserie chicken that I cut up in the refrigerator. Um, almost all the time actually so I can do stuff with it sometimes lunch sometimes dinner so I'm just taking a little bit of that and I'm cutting it up into little cubes I always keep paper towels even with my lettuce and it stops it from building up moisture. I'm just going to mix in now a little wing sauce. This one's mild. 
I don't like too much spice. And you can do that to taste. And you can use any sauce, actually. You could do a teriyaki. I mean, there's all sorts of things you can do with this. I'm a little OCD about getting everything put away. <laughs> I want to put some pepper on here and get this on my wrap. And then just fold that up and there is your lunch and it was delicious. While we're talking lunches, I made this um, a couple of weeks ago and it made two pieces. So I ate off of one um, about a week. And I had totally forgotten about it. So I looked in the freezer today and I saw this. It is still frozen, um, but this is gonna be what I'll probably munch on this week. I like to put it on top of salads or inside wraps and um, put a little guacamole on there, sour cream, salsa, whatever you like. Um, so that is another lunch option that goes a long way. So the first thing to do is to heat up your chicken. I, like I said, use just some um, rotisserie chicken that I had shredded and put in the blackened seasoning. That's from Zadrian's. I'm just going to warm that through. Then we're going to drain our black beans and get them rinsed. get out our rice to cauliflower just make sure the chickens getting cooked through we're going to add the black beans that have been rinsed and we're now going to drain our corn and add that we're going to break up the rice to cauliflower and get that into the pan Give it a good stir, breaking up as much as you can of that roast cauliflower. And then once we've got it mixed in as best we can, at this point we're going to put a lid on so it cooks through and the cauliflower will end up uh, cooking in the pan. And there it is all done. Like I said, I had two containers full. I froze one and still eating on it. So there are your ingredients. Very easy. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this week's menu. And if you're new to the channel, again, I welcome you. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you. And for those viewers that are coming back, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed it too. I'll be back soon with another video. Take care, y'all. Love you. Bye-bye.